everyone. Okay, so it's Kim again, and I'm going to make um, a lavender and green tea. This has my butters, oils, Greek yogurt, heavy cream in it already, and I just and some colloidal oatmeal. I just mixed it up or whatever, so it wouldn't have any little lumps in it. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my. Um, lye water that contains silk and sodium lactate. Okay, that looks like it's okay. So, the game plan is just to put like a swirl in there. And in part of it, I might want to put a little bit of um, green tea. I have some um, dried lavender to put on top. And maybe some of this drab green again. And some, it's kind of a violet blue color because I don't really think that this is purple. That's just my opinion. Okay, so let me see how I'm going to divide this up. So I'll make some purple, some green, and some tinted like with the titanium dioxide and then the natural. So let's start with the lightest first, the white. I'll put the fragrance oil in in a minute. I just want to make sure I get this in here first. I mean the colors done the way I want them. And this is the drag green. Okay. Better get that down in there so it doesn't just leave a clump in a minute. Or just scrape it. Instead of being lazy. do the blue color. Oops, don't want that to happen. Lighten it up a little. That'll work. Okay, so we'll add. I'm 
going to go ahead and take this out of here because it's driving me crazy. And I'll just stir the other in. A little bit in the white. the rest in this. And I think I'm going to go ahead and in this section add the green tea. I didn't use, I probably used half of what, half of a green tea bag. Yeah, that's just enough for me. Okay. So. Let me grab my mold. And we'll pour some of this in. some of the, you know, let's do the green first. And then the blue. I really like the fluidness of this. It's nice. And I like the colors too. There's something about greens and blues to me that are just, you know, so nice. going to take probably four hours for the last video I made to upload. So I'm thinking this is going to be my last, I'm not going to record the next video probably because it just, I won't have time to, to deal with it. I really like that hint of the green tea in there. Messy Marvin. I'm going to just tap it down a little before I finish the top part. It's pretty liquid, so I didn't think that there'd be too much, you know, air pockets.
It's a big clump right there. In there. Scrape some of that off. Now put the rest of the green in there. this blue. I probably should have put the blue <laughs> further down since I'm going to put the flowers up on the top. That was genius. That's not too bad. And not once I do the top. There's that spot. thing am I going to use? All my green ones are in the sink. Those green ones are my favorite to do the tops with because they have a nice sharp edge to them. I'll type it down one more time. I think I may take a chopstick and just flick it around in there like that. Okay. It's really kind of soft. I wish I knew how to do that top that everybody does where it's like all the neat little spindly tops like that. I love that. I'm just going to cover it with stupid um, um, lavender so I, don't, I think that's good enough. Okay, so here we go. I'm trying not to cover the entire thing, just to follow that peak, kind of. Okay, that is my lavender and green tea. Smells good. Thanks for watching.